What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be showing off Pedro Torres special event winning Zapdos Jolteon deck today. He was able to take down the Balzano special event with this very cool and unique take on a Zapdos deck featuring a 2 2 Jolteon GX line. And I love that he's including the Let Loose Marshadow in here as well. One of my favorite cards in both standard and expanded format. I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily good for the game, but definitely one of the most powerful cards in both standard and expanded format. I think that almost every deck needs to be playing that card just because of its extra draw ability as well as its ability to disrupt the opponent. I think maybe next format is going to be much healthier with the release of Dedenne GX giving decks additional options to draw cards outside of Let Loose. So I'm excited to see what Dedenne brings to the format as well. It will definitely speed up decks and allow for some more aggressive draw engines for sure. Something that I am very happy about since I do prefer decks with more aggressive draw engines. Got a pretty great starting hand here. Eevee in the active position, a Lily and Volkner for later. Definitely pleased with this. We've got a switch as well. I could go get myself a Nest Ball and get a Jirachi into the active position. I could also just Volkner get the Lightning. Uh, it's kind of a tough call here because Lily is not necessarily the best route for me to take considering that uh, I'm not going to be Lilying for a whole lot. I actually feel comfortable just going in with Volkner here. And I think we more or less have to get Nest Ball and a Lightning. I can evolve that Eevee up into a Jolteon turn one, which I am fine with. In the Zapdos Mirror, Jolteon is fine. And then uh, I don't mind playing Escape Rope either. Get that uh, Jirachi out of the active position and get my opponent Zapdos up. So hopefully that will disrupt them just enough here, turn one, so that they don't launch a turn one attack. I'm gonna go ahead and Stellar Wish. We've got another Nest Ball and a Guzma. Both of those are very good, I think, that uh, at this point, grabbing another Nest Ball and getting another Jirachi into play is probably pretty strong. So we could do that. Since I have the escape board, we could just go get another Jirachi and then go from there. Uh, probably should have. Uh, I do see a Jolteon here. I could have used Energy Evolution on my Eevee first to thin the deck a little bit and give myself some more options, but that's all good. I think we actually will just go for the Absol here instead and evolve this up yup, into a Jolteon. And then I guess we probably give my opponent uh, the hardest time taking a knockout here. Um, I'd say that, you know, they might have Switch in their hand. They might have Guzma. I'm just considering whether or not to leave the Absol active. I have Switch, so that could just be fine. But then if they have Guzma, they might just target down my Jirachi. Feeling like just retreating into the Absol and kind of just throwing a bulkier Pokemon in the active position so that they have a tougher time taking a knockout there. That way, if they fail to take a knockout, I've got Switch in my hand already and am prepared for a turn two attack. Sometimes promoting just an odd Pokemon with more than 80 hit points is enough to prevent your opponent from taking a turn one knockout, especially in the Zapdos mirror, which is just so back and forth, back and forth, and it really matters who takes the first knockout. Preventing that that first knockout can be a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up Zapdos here, just because it's not Jolteon and it's not Jirachi. Jirachi's super easy to knock out. Jolteon, I don't want him to sustain any damage yet, but it looks like my opponent's playing Tapu Lele, which could point to a more Pikachu and Zekrom oriented lightning deck that we're seeing here. Uh, I was kind of anticipating this being a straightforward Zapdos deck, judging by the Jirachi Zapdos start, but the Lele is usually an indicator that we're seeing a Pikaram list. And sure enough, there he is. Look at that beautiful tin promo art there. Pikachu and Zekrom GX, very cool. I think Pokemon did a great job with the new promos that just came out. They all look fantastic and are textured. You can actually see the texture lines that exist on the card here in the online version, which is super sweet as well. I do think that Pager's List does still struggle a little bit 
with Zork, Lycanroc, it is a tough matchup for most Lightning decks. Uh, the Jirachi engine in particular does do particularly not swell against uh, Muck, right? Turn two Muck can still just be a very big problem for this deck. Any deck that's just going to Ace Arola turn after turn can be an issue for this Zapdos deck that does not really do a great job doling out one hit KOs to Zorx, right? They don't put a ton of energy on board, so your Tapu Koko GX, which is kind of like your ace in the hole against a lot of these Pokemon with bigger HP, your Tapu Koko GX is going to be your go-to for knocking out Pikachu and Zekrom GX. Your Tapu Koko is going to be your go-to for knocking out Celebi and Venusaur and things like that. We don't really have one of those in this deck, nor do most Jirachi Zapdos decks. So we do have to just hope that they don't really heal as much, right? So they've got a Jirachi, a Picaram on the bench with two energy. They've already used their Tapu Koko. That's all good. I don't think that I necessarily want to use this Electro Power. I guess I could Electro Bullet, though I'm not trying to walk into a full Blitz here. So let's start off with a Switch for sure. And then I think that we just... Uh, I don't have an energy, so going for Guzma off the Stellar Wish, not really something I'm trying to do. We'll just Electro Power and then Lily for five. I want to get as much of a draw as I can so I can prepare for the Tapu Koko play eventually. And now I will Nest Ball, find myself, probably could let loose. That would be pretty good, honestly. I don't think I need Zera Aura necessarily. The Tapu Koko is probably cool just to help get some energies into play here down the line, so I do like that. And then we can Ultra Ball, let loose, get some some things going on here, which would be pretty good for me. Um, we could Ultra Ball away, what, two Lightning? We'll get them both into play with Tapu Koko, Prism Star, kind of into that. Let loose, my opponent would be pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, because we're knocking out their only Jirachi as well. So that, that just seems strong. Let's just go ahead and do this then. And then I will use Stellar Wish after the Let Loose. I mean, I am kind of hoping that I just like hit a Lightning Energy here, though. Discarding both, I can get them both back with the Tapu Koko Prism Star. Didn't hit a Lightning back, but that's fine. I am kind of prepared to use the Tapu Koko instead. I do got Escape Rope and Guzma. Okay, I've Electro Powered once. Um, if my opponent, actually Escape Rope is like pretty strong here, I have an option to knock out uh, the Lele if my opponent puts up the Lele, but I imagine that they'll throw up Zapdos. I don't actually want them to keep the Jirachi, so the Escape Rope's good, the Guzma's good, but I think I want to, the Volkner's good also, just to grab the, grab the Coco GX should I need it. So I think I'm just going to save all these resources, use Dance of the Ancients, and then knock out this guy with the old Zapdos. So looking pretty strong here, turn two, digging it for sure. And definitely loving that let loose here in the list. Taking the fir first prize, very good. Lightning in hand, Volkner, we can go get the Ultra Ball for Tapu Koko GX if we need it. We also have an Electro Power in hand. So if they full blitz for all their energy, uh, if they accelerate energy onto the bench, the Pikachu and Zekrom is in trouble. But sure enough, they've got their own let loose, so they're going to do that. Now, going in and KOing the first Pikachu and Zekrom with a full blitz is a little bit of a risky play. I don't love doing that, especially since if they full blitz to a second Pikachu and Zekrom GX, they can just tag bolt right? Especially with a board position like this, they could tag bolt for four prizes if they were to get a Guzma knock out the Jolteon, right? And then also snipe the Tapu Koko GX. It could get pretty hectic quickly, but it looks like they're just accelerating onto a Zero Aura, and since they don't have a backup Pikachu and Zekrom, I feel pretty safe just going in with the Tapu Koko GX here. We've got the Ultra Ball on hand as well, so that is an easy KO for us. 
I think that we're just going to go in and ultra ball, get the Tapu Koko, and go from there. I mean, we know that we're going to trade, but if my opponent brings up the Sarah Aura, I will have resources left to KO that as well. So let's just go in and get rid of probably the Nest Ball and the Zara Aura, and then we can Volkner, thin the deck even further. There he is. Good. And then we'll Volkner first. I think Volkner, yeah, just guaranteeing the Lightning, very good. And then we can Stellar Wish for more resources. Like we're gonna start to get more Electro Powers, things like that out of the deck so that I can get a game-winning knockout on that Zara Aura, potentially with Jolteon, right? would be pretty good. So now we'll Stellar Wish, now that we've thinned appropriately, we can go get, uh, I guess a Volkner ourselves would be pretty good too, so that like potentially I can hit game winning combos there. Um, if my opponent brings up Zero Aura, which I'm kind of expecting them to, so that's cool. We'll just do that. Uh, I am actually, yeah, I'm kind of forgetting that I am gonna be taking all of my energy off of the of the Jolteon here. So uh, it is gonna be a little bit more tough than I have, uh, I guess, <laughs> than I have said to take this game winning knockout on the Zara Aura. I am clean of energy right now, but we definitely got to take this uh, while it served up to us 300 damage here. With that, yes, we are walking into a knockout, but it's, uh, it's all good. Well worth it. We need to make this trade for sure. And we've used our GX attack, so now we just need to piece together two more prizes here in order to win. I do have Guzma and Energy, so I can get myself a Zapdos and potentially knock out the Marshadow, then just have one more prize remaining, or I can go for a two-hit KO on this Zara Aura GX, maybe by using Electro Bullet, soften up maybe the Zara Aura and the Lele, and then go for maybe a Zapdos game-winning play or something like that. But not a bad matchup here, especially if you could just lean on that Tapu Koko GX to figure things out for sure. I feel like in order for Pikachu and Zekrom GX to be a Zapdos-focused deck, you need to be aggressive and uh, definitely need to... Um, I, I guess you just, you just gotta be aggressive. You gotta hope that you could take care of the Koko on site. My opponent has a great shot to win this game if they could tag bolt, right? If they could just tag bolt right now, I would say that they're favored to win. But the fact that they didn't accelerate to a Pikachu and Zekrom just makes it that much harder for them. I don't think that this is necessarily a bad matchup for Pikachu and Zekrom, but things like the Rayquaza really help you in like kind of grinder situations like this where your Pikaram just gets annihilated and you need to respond and you have like a one turn window to do so. They could go like Rayquaza, Energy Switch, and maybe get like a Thunder Mountain into play and pull off the Tag Bolt, right? And if they were to Tag Bolt, the even like without Guzma, if they were to tag both the Coco and the Jirachi right now uh, for three prizes, they would go down to two prizes remaining as well. And then they would have a fully loaded Pikachu and Zekrom GX that I cannot knock out in one hit. And all they would need to do is Guzma this Jolteon for game. So that is tough for sure. Looks like they're playing escape rope, which means they did not get the knockout there. And I think I'm just going to throw up this Jolteon. I think they're going in potentially with Zapdos because they don't have it. Either way, if they take the knockout on my Jolteon with this Zara Aura, I just have return knockout with my Tapu Koko GX. I got Electro Power and Volkner in hand, so I don't mind if they take that knockout. They don't have it though, so we've got game here. Volkner for Choice Band and, or Electro Power, either works. And then we just double Electro Power and Sky High Claws for the game game. So GG's to my opponent. Huge more. And uh, well done. We've got it. So that's it. That is Pedro's list. Pretty good deck there, to be honest. Definitely substantial. Definitely something to look out for. I think the Jolteon does give the deck a lot of options. And especially with the, uh, with the Zara Aura in there as well. You just have this option to go in with Zapdos and retreat back and forth for free, which is super cool too. You should perform excellent against stall decks, Vileplume decks, all of that, because you do have a thick Jolte online and also the Zara Aura. So just an excellent answer 
to those Vila Plume decks and things like that, one escape board is a little bit thin. Uh, and only two copies of Choice Band, in my opinion, it's a little bit thin for this deck. Uh, I'm not as sold on a card like Max Potion as maybe some other players, but I think that, you know, the list definitely proven. He won a special event with it. So definitely something to look out for in the future of the standard metagame. Thank you guys all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. Let me know what do you guys think of Pedro Torres's special event winning Zapdos deck in the comments below. Make sure to check out my Teespring, my Twitch channel as well, twitch.tv slash tricky gym and Patreon stuff all in the description just below as well as fullgripgames.com. We are gonna be getting new products up soon. We've got the Pikachu, uh, Detective Pikachu tins coming up to our website here uh, shortly, as well as next set stuff coming in the upcoming weeks. We're gonna have pre-orders within the next few weeks, so make sure to stay tuned for that as well. Deuces.